Hi everyone, it's Terry here from NutsAboutStamping.com. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to create a beautiful fall themed card that is perfect to send to somebody that you might be missing. And I'm going to do this with the help of my Big Shot. I'm going to have my card base this week be very vanilla. Very vanilla to me is more of a vintage or fall kind of tone. So I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it on the four and a quarter mark. And my card this week is going to be landscape. Now, because Whisper White and Very Vanilla are kind of stark colors, I'm going to take away a little bit of that starkness by embossing it using the fabulous tin tile embossing folder. This is a new embossing folder that just came out in the holiday catalog and I think it's the number one sales so far. It's just amazing and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm gonna use my Big Shot platform that comes with the Big Shot. I've got my very vanilla cardstock inside the tin tile embossing folder and I'm gonna just use one embossing pad or a standard cutting pad and I'm gonna run it through the Big Shot like this. I'm not finished with my Big Shot yet, but let me show you how fabulous this is. I just love this really deep embossed, I guess, pattern on the front of the card. Now I'm still gonna use my Big Shot for one other detail that's coming up for my card, but since I have my Big Shot handy, let's get that taken care of. This time I'm going to use my magnetic platform. This does not come with the Big Shot, but it is well worth considering, especially if you're gonna be using any kind of metal dies. The Big Shot magnetic platform helps prevent it from slipping and, whoops, slipping and sliding um, as you're die cutting. So I'm gonna put my bottom standard cutting pad on. Now before the video began, I took a piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock and I attached a leftover strip of the multi-purpose adhesive sheet. This is what you're going to use to create a sticker. So I peeled off one side of the sticker sheet, attached it to the rich Razzleberry, and now I've got one of the dies from, I'll show it to you, the Seasonal Layers Thinlets Dies. This is a great set of thinlets for all sorts of seasons. I guess that's why it's called Seasonal Layers. So I've got my leaf die on top. Let me just adjust it a little bit. I'm gonna put on the top standard cutting pad and then I'm gonna run it forward. And because this is quite an intricate die, I'm gonna run it back. Now, I am done with my Big Shot. And we can get going with the whole rest of the card. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add a layer of Very Vanilla to my Very Vanilla card. Um, but there's other things coming, so hang on a second. And for this, I'm gonna bring in a nasty scrap piece of grid paper because I wanna do some, what we call generational stamping. So let me get set up for that and we'll be good to go. Both of the stamps that I'm going to use for this very vanilla layer on my card are found in the Colorful Seasons stamp set, which coordinates with the seasonal layers dies. And the reason that I'm going to use this scrap paper, I explained, is because I'm gonna do generational stamping. So generational stamping is a way to take off some of the color or the darkness of a stamp. So I've inked it up with the rich Razzleberry. I'm gonna stamp off and then I'm going to stamp on to my very vanilla. And that way it's much lighter. I hope you can see. Let me bring it over. Maybe you can see, yeah. So this is the first generation, this is the second generation. And if I wanted to do a third generation, it would be so light you could hardly see it. And now mind you, the ink has dried a little bit too. So I'm gonna do a second one. I'm gonna do first generation, stamp off, and then I'm going to do second generation and stamp on, like so. 
All right, so that's a little bit of the stamping I'm going to do. I'm gonna do a bit more in a second, but let's continue along with this line. Now, here's a tip for you. I want to use a strip of the Country Home Designer Series paper for a layer underneath this very vanilla layer. But you know, it's quite a waste of Designer Series paper to have a complete layer underneath and only see the top and bottom strips. So here's a fun tip for you. I cut two strips of this Designer Series paper and I'm going to adhere them next to this layer so that they are peeking out from the top and the bottom and it looks like there is a layer of it, but there isn't. I think this is quite a sneaky thing to do and very clever, and it also saves on designer series paper. So I'm gonna turn this over, and I'm going to add my second, oops, I think it's time for a new blade on my paper cutter. Okay, let me put this one here. This one's easier to line up because it had a line across it. Okay, I'm just gonna trim off this little edge here. It looks like my Very Vanilla was just slightly smaller than my Rich Razzleberry, and then we'll move on to the next step. The next thing I want to do, now that I've got my paper strips ready to go here, is I want to take my Itty Bitty Greeting stamp set, and this one is fabulous. There are 32 stamps in this dual stamp set, so you pay one price, you get both of these, and you end up with 32 phrases. And for this one, I chose the Scent with Love. There it is right there, Scent with Love. It's quite a tiny stamp. And because of that, I'm going to ink it up. Oop, you can't see. I'm going to ink it up with my Rich Razzleberry. And I'm going to stamp it down right like that. And that's the first generation ink, so it's a bit darker and it draws your eye to it. And I'm very happy with that. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of the velvet ribbon. It's this Rich Razzleberry velvet ribbon. I love it. And I have a cut a strip of this ribbon. And I think what I'm gonna do is put it across the top rather than the bottom so that it doesn't compete with the scent with love phrase. To attach my ribbon, to attach any ribbon actually, I'm going to use some of the tear and tape adhesive. So I'm gonna put a piece here and I'm gonna put a second piece here. I really like tear and tape because if you have any heavy layers or you're trying to attach some ribbon like this, it's really good because it'll hold that ribbon in place. So it's double-sided tape. So I'm, whoops, I'm gonna peel off just the one side, hopefully. Let me start from the other end. There we go. And then I'm just stuck another one in the middle because I could, didn't really need to, but there we go. All right, so now I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to start one end here and I'm gonna finish off. Let me just move it a little bit lower. Okay, and then I'm gonna put, stretch it across but not pull it too hard and then finish it off like so. Now I'm going to turn this over. and I'm going to add it to the front of my card. Let me get it lined up until I'm happy with it. There we go. And then, remember this little die that I die cut out? Let's pull off the adhesive backing off of this. I'm just using my paper piercing tool to poke out some of the elements. And actually, you know, I think it's okay if some of the elements stay in there, stuck in there, because leaves aren't perfect in nature and neither should they be perfect on my card. And then I'm going to, maybe I'll move it over just a little bit, add this final element to the middle of my card it's just over a little bit more than I wanted it to, but I think that's just perfect. And this card is a card that I made to write a letter on the inside to send to my son, and he will love receiving it in the mail. 
So for a complete listing of the supplies that I used in the measurements for all of the cardstock bits, please visit my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. And while you're over on my blog, consider joining my free mailing list. I send out a newsletter each week with a project idea you won't see anywhere else. And I have a special campaign happening right now with Christmas cards, bags and tags, and gift ideas. And so if you would like to do some crafting for Christmas, you'd like to sign up for my newsletter so you can get these project ideas to try at home. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I hope you'll create something beautiful today too. Bye for now.